One of my favorite things to debut in this patch 1.51 is the 40mm Hurricane. I've always waited for this aircraft to be added to the game. It's here, and I didn't quite expect a poor British man's version of the Act 9T. If you've seen some of my other videos, I love attacking aircraft with big cannons, things like the Ju-87 G2, the ME-410s with the 50 millimeters, and now I have a tier two British aircraft with two 40 millimeter cannons with air target rounds, and this DO-17 is about to pay for this. Part of me feels slightly bad for destroying this guy's day, and the other half of me jumps up and down like a six-year-old child watching fireworks explode. We're going to talk a bit about the hurricane, we're going to talk a bit about the patch, and I'm going to have basically two rounds of air combat. We'll do a round of squad gameplay where I do some ground attacking like this aircraft was meant for. And then I might mention a few things about the recent patch. The first thing is this aircraft is basically a Mark II that was up-engined with some armor added around the cockpit. This aircraft was strictly a ground attacker. Not like in War Thunder, as you see me here chasing down bombers and fighters. And they primarily like to attack trains with it. It's a little hard to use against tanks. This aircraft was outfitted with 20mm cannons, the 40mm like we have in game, and rockets. Typically, they use some combination of the 20mm and rockets. The 40mm were something to be, I guess, desired lackluster in real life compared to this game. I love these 40mm cannons in game. This thing's battle rating right now is 1.7 RB. It's going to shoot up possibly to like 2.3 or or so on. Just like anything else in War Thunder. It debuts, debuts low, it'll go high, and then they'll probably somewhere end up in the middle. So you're going to see a lot of people using these things early on, and then eventually it'll just kind of fall to the side. There was 524 of these aircraft made as I approach this poor MC-200 that is not at all suspicious. This guy may not have a clue what's about to happen to him. Oh, I missed that shot. I got a little cocky there. So I can turn around. But it might be nice if this aircraft had the option to fit 20mm or rockets on board. This was a very solid gun platform for the RAF. I'm trying to see where that guy went. Okay. So there's an MC-200 over there. Maybe this is the one that we can destroy. Oh yes, that's a mistake. Climbing straight up in front of my guns. I'll get you now. There we go. And then there's a poor little HE-51 over there. That looks like the only target I see. I'm sorry. This is poor little biplane. This aircraft should not see HE-51s. I, I agree with people that say this thing's battle rating needs to be raised, and it will be raised. Like I said, everything seems to debut a little low in War Thunder. As far as the patch, there were some things I immediately hated. Uh, as I always do, I always see kind of the negative things first, and some things are different, so we all don't like change, so the things like the airplane sounds outside, you can hear all these different sound effects going on. That's growing on me. Some of them, I think it's a good idea, trying to add like the Doppler effect sound, and and it's actually good gameplay mechanics, so when somebody dies on you, you can actually hear other aircraft engines better. I think it's going to be cleaned up and refined as it goes along. That thing's being attacked. So I think we're going to jump into our next round where I do some more air attacking. And like I said, there'll be a third clip of this aircraft actually ground attacking. Different map, different weather, and a whole bunch of enemies. Look at him down there. We got a condor that's being swarmed. They're going to take him down pretty quickly, it looks like. A lot of BF-110s and a bunch of single-engine fighters below me. One thing I want to mention real quick is you see that gun on the left wing right there as I roll over. It seems like they messed up the texture. I know it was like that in the dev server. So either two things have gone on. This happens in video games where textures are messed up. Oh, this BF-110 is screwed. Well, that was that was beautiful. I'm sorry. I, I might need a moment for that one. But video games and patches I've seen in the past with games like Battlefield where they mess up a texture when they patch. It happens. Or I have an alternate theory. Nigel is becoming gangster and he's chroming out his weapons. There's the DL-17, he's Adios as well. So we might see Nigel holding his revolver sideways or his stun gun sideways and baggy pants listening to rap music. It's that damn rap music. It, it's, it's, it's got Nigel. Let's head away from this pack because it looks like 
This is not the... This thing can be defeated, even though it's at a lower battery rating. It does have two 40mm cannons on it. As you can see, when I try to roll here, it gets a little wonky. So it's not the best turn fighter. It, it does compete, but it's not... I wouldn't call it necessarily a overpowered flight model. It's just a battle rating issue. Whenever I do get up tiered in this thing, I usually pay for it dearly. Here we go. Let's see if I'm going to shot this BF-110. He's turning underneath me. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice shot right there, if I say so myself. That's the third one. I'm having so much fun with this aircraft. I'm probably going to be putting it away for now, but I always have fun. It's always fun that like when you're having a bad night in War Thunder, just to take something out like this and, and just cause havoc and destruction. This poor guy in the chat, I had to explain to him, these aren't 40mm high explosive rounds. They're just 40mm cups of tea. I'm being nice. I'm sharing British culture and food and beverages with other countries by... It's like 40mm gift packages, you know? Come visit the island after the war. There's the CR-42 running for his life down there. Never mind, he is toast. But one thing I will say is the rewards are... I think this thing is like 80% rewards and then there's no bonuses on it. It is one of the worst aircraft in terms of grinding and I used it to grind the Firebrand. But here it is. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I enjoy this aircraft more than I thought I did. I, I always thought it should be in game, but it is so far my favorite thing to come in this patch. And I haven't played a lot of other things yet. I've been working on the Apache and the Helldiver. And hopefully we'll have some videos of those out shortly. But I'm going to leave it here. I will show you the rewards for three air kills, and then we will jump into some squad gameplay. Speaking of ground attacking, look at him go down there. Little, little British and American monsters. Well, let's do a little testing on the 40mm AP shells. There's actually heavy pillboxes over here. Are there? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to try and crack one. I know it'll do light pillboxes. But I haven't had a chance to shoot it with. Are this. these the same guns that are on the Vickers Tempest? Not at all. Okay. Diving. These are an aircraft cannon, correct? And those are... That was a field cannon that's that on the That was a Vickers prototype right? that was on the Vickers Tempest. Um, it was modified, I don't... No, nothing. Really? Yep. That was for science. For science! Alright, back to the medium tanks, if I don't die over... Oh my gosh, I pissed off all the Japanese anti-air guns over here. It was for science, you bastards! Leave me alone! <laughs> We're doing gameplay testing. Okay, F-43 is dead. Over here, Kobe's the medium tanks. Or do you want to take a crack at the pillboxes, too? I'm going to kill the AAA first. Maybe. With your 40 millimeters? Yep. That's a little overkill. What'd they do nope. to you? You know you know how this is going to end. Ow, shit. There's a lot of AA over here. How about them? I'm coming. And a whole line of tanks? Or is it it's a whole cars line cars? of tanks. Oh, good. It's like Christmas. I also got a KI-27 yeah, up above me. They are moving. I'm a bit worrisome. They're heading to the airfield. They're having the company Christmas party, and they're all coming in. I think they're flying away. The A5M4 is. That's good. I got that one. My god, there's so many of them. Well, if you want to wait, Kobe, I'll fly back with you, and then we can try I'm possibly. I'm out. All right, I have a lot of ammo left, actually. Okay, 27's flying away. Three armored cars, one tank left. All right, well, I'll take out the medium tank, and I'll do the armored cars in the line. I've been kind of hitting him in this passing pattern to get the side profile. The idea basically being if I attack from the front or the back, my cannon shells will fall to left or right. 
I hit from the side, hopefully both can hit it. All right, there we go. Where's those anti-air guns? There's the, yeah, you little bit. Uh huh. Now you're in trouble. Did you get out the anti-air, Kobe? Is it all gone? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll let your place gone. Oh, very nice. Good job. All that's left is just uh, just the uh, armored cars. Like there's two of them left. Those little trucks don't mess around. Three of them. Four of them. Three of them. Two of them. What? <laughs> that guy survived. He's like, I can't feel my legs, but I'm still driving. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Oh, come on. Roll, roll, roll. Roll, and... Let's see if I can hit the last armor, or second to last armor car up the... There we go. I'm nice. out. One nice. car left. Yeah. Alright, I'll get Dad, it. Dad, you got any ammo? Yeah. I'll wait for you. This thing is pretty versatile. Very effective. Yay! More crumpets for us. I don't have any crumpets. I gave all my crumpets to the Japanese. Do they eat crumpets? Do they like them? Um, they got them whether they want them or not. Seems like they're 40 really millimeters cool. at a time. <laughs>